the most important part of this session, pearls and pitfalls in paper emulsification by Professor Sharfuddin Ahmed, who is the president of OSW, uh, the Bangladesh Ophthalmic Society. Welcome, sir. Looking forward to hearing you. Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, I thank all the Chairman Scientific Committee, Organizing Committee, President Secretary of AI West for giving me this opportunity to talk in front of all the giant faculty surgeons of the world who have already the best and uh, good reputations in their surgery. My topic is in pulse and pitfalls in faculty emulsification. Uh, you all know about the lens edges increase the weight and thickness and also new layers of cortical fiber. Nucleus undergoes compression and hardening. Uh, what are the challenges of hard cataract? I will talk in front of you. Uh, good pre-op, best corrected visual acuity with dense brunescent cataracts and high expectation on day one uh, after the operation. And uh, difficult to, uh, the problem is there, that, that there is a difficult to divide, harden and compressed cortical fiber layers and requires excessive parameters, high intensity of FACO power. Uh, what are the concerns? When there is the high intensity of FACO power, there will be thermal damage to the incision, endothelial trauma associated with prolonged ultrasound time and risk of capsular rupture. And uh, incision burns uh, always occurs due to thermal uh, damage. And also there is the increase in stroke length generates more uh, frictional heat, clogging of FACO tip or aspiration line with thicker nuclear emulsate, uh, OVD decreases the gravity fed inflow. There is also endothelial cell loss, and there is the risk of PCR. Rigid and thick nucleus, more directly transfers in instrument related forces to the capsule and genules. Less epinuclear shell to cushion, high vacuum levels improve holding power, but increases the risk of uh, post occlusion surge. A lax posterior capsule due to weak or deficient genules can uh, trampoline more easily toward the FACO tip, making even a minor or momentary degree of surge uh, precarious. What are the aim of management of heart cataract is satisfactory performance and satisf satisfactory outcome. And that should be the technique by the surgeon, technology by the machine, recommended modifications, and adjuncts viscoelastic irrigating fluid. Uh, m initial experience in hard cataract, small rexes, fear of genuine dialysis, forward movement of nucleus during trensing, incomplete trensing, improper depth perception, central inadequate techniques, trying to premature cracking, genuine tear during trensing, tendency to emulsify in the anterior chamber, endothelial burn, wound leak and shallow AC. These are the initial experiences. In this way, we are to proceed and uh, now, uh, how to overcome? Overcoming fear, overcoming stress, large capsular axis, divide and conquer, use of high viscous OVD, discussion with experts, and repeated practice, increasing commitment and finding of opportunity. Uh, in hard cataract, large rexis is a must. Uh, multiple small bouts of hydrodissection, trends deep and wide always use adequate power to avoid genular stress, crack thoroughly, especially the central pell, if an inadequate crack, crack at multiple points along the trends and reposition instruments into lower part of the trend. Uh, divide nucleus into multiple segments, Proceed for emulsification. Make sure all pieces are totally separated from each other. And uh, in this way, we can proceed. What are the recommendations? Uh, there should be opportunity, uh, PD program, basic complication management, and all FACO concepts in everywhere. Uh, Bangladesh ophthalmo uh, in this way, a careful CCT. If needed, double rexis. Uh, if there is the Argentine flux sign, and genuine weakness, there will be uh, use of CTR ring, less stress during scalping, care of endothelium, visibility is a challenge, and care of endothelium is a must in case of hard cataract management. 
Uh, in this way, you have already heard many heart cataracts have been management here, uh, including the dislocated lens, where there is a CTR ring is also given, and also uh, uh, some of the surgeons have given, if there is the fall of the nucleus inside the vitreous, uh, the, they should consult the vitro-retina surgeon. All the setup should be there. And this heart cataract uh, management is uh, necessary by the uh, quick and swift surgeon as because they should know when there is a complication, how to manage it. With these few words, thank you very much for patient sharing. Thank you so much, sir.